Hello there and welcome back to another video today guys we are back here inside of Roblox Studio and in this video today guys in the Noob to Post scripting tutorial series we'll be talking about loops over here right now guys loops are super useful and I'll be showing you guys how to use these and when to use these in today's video so stick around all the way up until the end before I start anything off over here though I first need to go in and tell you a little bit about rblxcodes.com which is my own Roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out Overall, we have a code for over 1,000 Roblox games, so if you guys need a code for our game, it will be there. And if you guys are guessed, let's just go ahead and go on into this video now. So guys, what are loops? Well, first things first, let me quickly make a script right over here, guys. So, there is actually two types of loops which I want to be showing you guys in today's video. That is while loops, so if you just do while, um, so there's while loops and there's also repeat loops. So, as you can see, the, the loops are while something do and then end but the repeat repeat loops are repeat until so i'll be showing you guys how to do, use both these first things first i'm going to explain the while loop so guys the while loop pretty much you know what? right okay let me quickly make a variable i'm going to create a variable called local number and that number is going to be equal to one we can do something like this we can do while number um equals equals one do and then guys we can pretty much print Hi, so what, what I'm going to go ahead and do over here, guys, is this. So pretty much in a while loop, it checks if whatever the statement is between the while and do, if that is correct, then it's going to go ahead and loop through this. It's going to keep on repeating the code that's inside until whatever it, well, whatever this statement is here is false, guys. So pretty much um, it, it, you can do stuff like this. But also, guys, you can do stuff such as while number is less than five um we, we can do while numbers less than five do but even though we've we've done this guys and we wanted to repeat this is never going to stop because we're, we're actually not adding anything to our number so guys to do, actually do this would we'll do like number is equal to number plus one um here we go guys so what's going to happen right now is going to print out high yeah four times over here guys because it repeated it until number was um of course equal or greater than five over here guys so as you can see it's printed high four times and we did not need to write out high four times over here this is super useful um and i'll be explaining one other thing i'll be explaining why in a second but first things first guys you must also um you must also sometimes remember to put weights in loops over here guys because if i was not to put a weight in here it would crash the game as pretty much um, what it's doing right now, it is going to be looping through through this and it's never going to stop as the numbers never change in value. And that's going to pretty much crash um, any PC, guys, um, even even my PC. It's going to crash it because it's going to like do that so, so fast and just Roblox Studio cannot handle it, guys. So you must remember to maybe add weights in loops if you guys want them to loop um, forever. As you can see, this is just going to keep on going. Also, guys, you don't need to really do a um, while... A variable is less than something you also do a while wait um instead of that guys and if you just want to do a, um, a loop when it waits a certain amount of time between each time it repeats then it's going to go ahead and do that, that over there guys um so we can maybe wait a second as well and it's gonna um go ahead and print out high over there guys there we go so when is these while loops actually useful well guys these are really really useful when you do not want to write out certain sections of code multiple times guys they are very useful when maybe you want to loop through a map and um, a code let's say four amount of times guys you could do while um loop is less than um less than four less than or equal to four and then you guys could do like local loop um is equal to z zero so guys you can do something like it tracks how many times that this loops through um you can also um you can also go ahead and use these to um actually loop through a code when you guys don't really know how much time you guys want it to loop through you can make it so that these loop through throughout your whole game while well, well, it's running guys so these are super useful and um you guys will be using these a ton in future episodes so guys let's now move on to our next um type of loop over here guys and that's the do and um sorry that's the repeat um sorry repeat until loop over here guys so what's gonna do it is gonna pretty much do this so you know guys i want to put back in the 
the loop um, variable. So local loop is equal to zero. What it's going to do, it's going to repeat whatever is inside of this. So print um, loop will do. It's going to repeat whatever's inside of this until a statement has been met. So um, you, you do until, for example, loop is equal equal to five. And we'll do loop um, is equal to loop plus one. So pretty much, guys, what it's going to go ahead and do over here is repeat anything between this and the until until this statement has been reached so guys these are the the repeat loops and also the um the while loops are quite similar guys you can really just use these whenever you guys want and they kind of work work the same but just in a different order if you guys kind of get what i mean um norm normally you'd be using wait loop um sorry um while loops guys that's what i normally use but you can also use these ones as well but yeah guys that's pretty much loops for you all these are super useful when making your code more, more efficient and when maybe you need to um loop through a section of code amount of times which you guys don't know or amount of times which you guys do know and don't want to write that out multiple times if you guys kind of get what i mean i hope i did explain loops the best i possibly could over there guys if you are struggling with this guys well you can receive one-to-one -one help from me on my patreon account check out that that's linked down below in the pinned comment of today's video but yeah guys i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out